Hey, welcome back. Professor C here. We're going to look at another version of the dog age calculator found, uh, where are we? Week three, chapter two. We hopefully you've already looked at this sample. Right click, do save link as, bring down programs two and three. So I'm going to come over here to my trusty idle. And just as a quick recap, do you remember this piece of code, which I have a different YouTube video for? And we're going to show you how that can be written in less lines of code. I'm going to shrink this down. Look how these lines of code, and actually I have a little typo here. This should be second dog age calculator. Look how I've mashed up these two into one line of code. These two become one. I ask for the input. This happens first, this happens. The string input from here becomes a float and assigned to here. And notice the calculation here gets put within the format. So it calculates and then formats to one decimal point. Let's try running this program right now. I'm just gonna say, do you wanna save? And I'm gonna, of course, say yes. I'm gonna put in 13.923. Or is it 932? I can't remember, but close enough. And look right here, it comes out beautiful. And I commonly get asked, which is better? What do I prefer? What's more efficient? I think for people learning the code, this way works out quite nicely. It's very explicit. Ask for input. Do the convert, do the computation, do the output. I always tell my students, you can write code by inputting, converting, computing and outputting. So if you're more comfortable with this approach, go for it. I think it's awesome. If you want to look for something to challenge yourself a little more, or as you get more experience, line, um, this part, input and convert, can be mashed into one. And I think this might be a little too much for some people, and nothing's wrong if you want to stay like with way one, but you could also take the calculation here and put it right here, and this is what you end up with. So my guess is as you start building confidence in coding, you'll start here, and maybe you'll move to here.